Hello everyone, my name is Captain Jack and welcome back to Space Engineers. It's a Monday which means we're reviewing another creation from the Steam Workshop. With me today I have the M89 Torture by the user query uh, called Trav. This is a very interesting build, obviously it's a car in Space Engineers, you don't really get to see many of these, but I thought I'd highlight today as the design, the structure and the way the build's been presented really caught my eye on the Steam Workshop. I think as of recording this now, it has just reached the top 3 position, so if you guys want to go get this yourself, let's see if we can get the top 1 of the workshop maybe, I think that could really help the creator. So, the description is pretty plain and simple. It's a car, as you can see. That's literally how the creator has laid it out. Pretty simple, a very nice car, and it is basically an M89 Torture. Now, I am not a car person. I am expecting most of you are in the comments, so you can tell me a bit of information of what sort of car this has been inspired by. Personally, I cannot tell. Like I say, I'm not a car person. I'm more of a Starship person myself, hence playing Space Engineers. But I thought it'd be fun to highlight this state as it's very nice and it's got a really cool sleek profile that could work in like a city strike structure in Space Engineers. We do have a few of them and I'd love to see this drive around the street or even more races in Space Engineers. I maybe see if I can fit a race into this video. It could be quite cool. So let's take a look at the build and see what it actually has highlighted. If we just jump in spectator mode quickly, we can take a look at the build and basically point at some of the interesting structure blocks which Trav has used to create the build. So obviously we've got the spoiler here at the back, now this is using a combination of grounded down blocks here as you can see with uh, solid blocks cut and nice looking spoiler there. And this, the sleek profile of this build is really cool as well. Now obviously we don't have small ship glass um, unless you want to use a mod, personally I don't like using mods when it comes to vanilla creations. Instead Trav's opted for a projector sort of base profile of some blocks here to almost create that sort of glass effect. This is very intelligent thinking and I like the way he has done it. Now looking around the front here, we've obviously got the headlights up front as well, you've got these minimal lights here just to point off. Now you can activate the spotlights to give even more of like a wider beam look as you're driving along. You've obviously got what the license plate would be here, it just says torture road on the front there. And we use a combination of blast or blocks to actually have the uh, front of the car. Very good idea to have this, I mean if you accidentally hit anything, you're going to want something that's going to stop you and take a bit of brunt force, obviously. Then we've got this bit of a car down here, I don't know what you actually call this, uh, but like I say I'm not a car person. This bit down here is obviously, um, like I say I don't know what it is, but it's built into the design problem there. We're using half blocks to create this as well. Well, and they merge very nicely just over here as well. And you can see he's using a rotor concept to actually keep this in place. A very interesting design here. Using blast or blocks as well, obviously, because they have a little bit of different collision box rather than your normal half blocks. Very cool to see that. Moving around the side here, you also have a wheel sticking out. Now, this does have an automated suspension system where you can control it, um, which is quite cool. So, if you're like, traveling on a road in a city where it's quite flat, then you can have it a bit of a lower profile. But if you're driving on sand out here, you also want a bit of a higher suspension. Pretty cool. We have some lights on the side here as well. There's sort of like indicators, I'm guessing, or navigation lights, including LCD screens as well. But also those are made to replicate your mirrors. I do like the idea of that. We even got a bit of a wing mirror up here as well. And I love the inclusion. It's just that minor little bits of detail which are being included, which really make this build stand out. Now up the front here, it's obviously like our turbo sort of unit up here. We're using sound blocks to create that sort of design. Also using a battery as well. Now I love the use of these ground down heavy arm blocks here to create that sort of mesh um, slash style look. Really nice. The combination of colours in this build as well really make it sticks out. We've got a bit of black and orange going on which is our primary two colours. We've also got some deeper shades of colours over here. Bit of brown mixing in the back as well. Very nice to see these colours coming through. I do like it. Now, so we're using the small 3x3 wheels over here, and obviously we've got the LinkedIn all the way over here. On the underside, we do have some lights around here as well, and a camera as well. Not entirely sure why we have a camera around here. Again, there isn't really much described in the Steam Pro profile that I can actually go off why we have a camera. I guess it's just there for looks. Obviously, we've got some thrusters as well, more thrusters and a program block with gyroscopes in our engine section up here. We do have boosts in the shape of these two thrusters. Very good to have them because they can give a little bit of an extra edge of speed. Then obviously, we've got another license plate back here as well, and then our kind of our reversing lights, which I'm guessing. We also have thrusters in the side ports here, again we've got boosts using a thrust, very cool to actually have them because obviously it can give the car that little bit of extra speed when it needs to go around the map. If we take a look at the interior, so this is what you've got, you've obviously got a, or basically driver and passenger, or you can have two drivers I guess if you really wanted to. And obviously we don't actually have driving and steering wheel seats in here, we've got a sort of a joystick control, which is still quite cool to see it included. And obviously up front here as well, we use these half blocks to split in there, a bit of an LCD. You could say it's like the radio or something, this is like your control systems. Sound blocks here as well to create that sort of um, just general look. I don't know whether they're meant to create something which I'm not picking up on, but it is still just nice to have that minor bit of detail there. Now the seats are backed up against these thrusters around here as well, which keep us, allow us to have a bit of boost I think. I wonder if we can use that to actually boost off the ground. Could be pretty interesting. We've also got our antenna inside here as well, nice to have that, obviously you need one of those when you're out and about. More ground down blocks create that sort of sleek profile we were talking about earlier. I love the inclusion of them, makes it really stand out. If we delve deeper into the engine section back here, we also have another battery, so most of this car is battery powered. Digging in even deeper, we've got a couple of gyroscopes back here, let's turn on our torch. More thrusters as well, and that's kind of it to be honest, it's mostly just thrusters and gyroscopes. Not really much else back here. We've also got a few mass blocks as well, which will help in lower gravity to have mass blocks. So if we're driving around the moon, you'd kind of want that instead. 
Okay, let's see if we can speed off then. So park and brake is off. Uh, let's go off for distance. Let's see what speed we can increase. So I'm holding down W now. Let's see how fast we can actually go. Without breaking it. Alright, passing 45 meters a second. 50 meters a second. 52. 55. 58. 60. Alright. I hope we're not going to hit anything anytime soon. 65. Well, how fast can we actually go? If we press C down now, oh, look, we can go even faster. So this is using a boost at the back there, as you can see. Very. F uh oh, we've taken off. Uh, I may have ripped the front of a car off. Uh oh. You know these reviews, they never go as planned, do they? I may be stuck in the ground slightly now. Now as we can see, Spaces still has a little bit of errors and touchiness when it comes to wheels on plants and stuff like that. To be expected really, hopefully we are finding it soon, but you can see the car operates fully there, looking past the minor mistake where I went a bit too fast. So I'd recommend keeping this at a good speed, you don't want to go too fast and just end up in a pit like I just did there, you hit a bit of low ground and bang, you get scooped up and thrown into something. But the vehicle operates efficiently, and also you can use your boost like that as well. Now I don't know, they do, oh they do work on the sides there, look, that's pretty cool. So we can use the thrust aided steering as well, which is quite cool. Very nice, and also we've got a general boost as well, pretty cool. I wonder if we can go up the hill and see if we can go anywhere. But overall, the sleekness of this car is very nice, I love the way it operates. I really want to use this in like a cinematic soon, I think it could be quite cool. I don't know what number 9 does. Number 9 is another like ADS suspension thing. Doesn't really do anything. So we're going to have a quick drive up here a minute so I can show you guys a little bit more about the vehicle and go from there. Hopefully we don't hit some low ground. This does look really nice when it's driving there. Look at that. Oh, we just ripped off the front part. I think, okay, this is where Spaces glitches out now. So we ripped off that front part there, and because the rotor has an issue, it looks like that causes a bit of an issue for us. So if we can detach a minute. I've got a bit under my car now. There we go, so detaching the rotor a bit there actually helped us. Again, this is not the maker's fault or anything. Spaces does always have some finicky issues when it does come to rotors. So not a big issue. But nah, this, this car works so perfect. It's actually probably one of the best rovers I've seen. Ignore me just basically wrecking it at the minute. That is literally what I come to these reviews to actually do. But the car still holds up rather, rather well. I've just wrecked the front suspension thing there and now the back. Uh, the suspension probably not the best. So I wouldn't recommend tearing it around the planet. Um, as I'm just doing because I've ripped the wheel off now. But the car can withstand quite a lot. So as you can see I am putting it through its test at the minute. I think I've now ripped off another wheel and a battery. Well it was an honour serving of you all. I think, however, we are going to go down a cliff now. Seems like an ending of a, a sitcom at this point. Uh-oh. Well, it's been an honour. Oh no, we still got parked. Can we still drive? Surprisingly, we can still drive. Would you look at that? So guys, there you have it. This has been the M89 Torture. A very interesting build. I'd really like to fit in a race at some point. I know I said previously I'd love to do more space races or just, you know, with cars and rovers in Space Engineers. So if you'd like to see that, let us know down below in the comments and hit the like button on this video. I think we could really do something very soon. Some even like F1 style. Could be pretty cool. Maybe even like where we arm and weapons and stuff like that. I could definitely see myself using something like this um, over the border because that's a bit finicky. But I love the idea of this car as long as it's on a straight track. Pretty cool. I want to know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. So please do feel free to let me know. I've been Cam Jack. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.